On to another case, David, that will be the IRS case and a focus on hearings next week. Now there's a hearing specifically on this video. Take a listen. At an undisclosed location, world famous dance instructor brought together a ragtag group of SBSE executives. Their dream to become the next great dance sensation. This is their story. That's an IRS video. Um, and those are IRS employees. And there is another video about Star Trek. Um, and there's a whole investigation into IRS spending and it's almost similar to the GSA investigation. It's kind of like a twofer because you can use this at the end of the show when we do the funny. But, but I think you're going to see a lot of what's been going on at the Internal Revenue Service dug into over the coming months throughout the summer. Several congressional committees want to crack at this. The House Ways and Means Committee has set up a website specifically for people who feel they've been targeted to send in their stories. And there are people claiming that after they became politically active on behalf of conservative causes and candidates, their businesses were audited for the first time ever, their personal taxes were audited for the first time ever. So, Brett, this isn't going anywhere, and nobody likes the IRS, and this is a bipartisan issue as much as we've seen in recent times. So. Had the uh, chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, the subcommittee chairman, uh, Charles Bustani, say whether it's tens of thousands of hard-earned taxpayer dollars spent to produce frivolous entertainment for agency bureaucrats or the IRS's own admission that it targeted the American people based on their personal beliefs, the outrage towards the IRS is only growing stronger. You agree with that? Yeah, I, I, this is the one thing that everybody agrees on. It's big kumbaya moment here in Washington. It's time to have a poll that asks people, which do you dislike more, Al Qaeda or the IRS? I'll bet you it'll be close. Next up, the Friday.